Oh, good morning to you all listeners. Welcome to the Faculty of Management Science, Department of Project Planning and Management. Our course unit this morning is Project Proposal Writing and Report Writing. We are looking at module for Project Proposal Sample. We are going to look at a sample of a project proposal. Uh, remember that uh, not all proposals take the same style. It depends on the guidelines of the call for proposals. It depends on the type of proposal. It may be an engineering project. It may be agriculture project, education, health. Uh, call it NNM. Therefore, there could be some new changes. Uh, from the type of a proposal I'm writing tonight uh, and the proposal we are writing this morning. Uh, proposals have some generic features, uh, but uh, they will always be different. If we are building a house in a wetland and a house in a dry land, certainly the raw materials will be different. If it is a health uh, proposal, if it's an engineering proposal, the human source will be different. If it is a welfare proposal, the human source will be different. Some proposals are rural, have a rural orientation, others are urban oriented. Therefore, whatever is in it will be different. That's why I was emphasizing that you need to get a theoretical background uh, before you actually embark on writing a proposal. However, as you look at examples of many proposals, you will discover why we write them differently. Today, my proposal will be both agriculture and business. It is agribusiness proposal. Given the background of your lecturer, we are going to look at agriculture as well as uh, business. Uh, however, the generic features I gave you before I will apply. Uh, when we are writing our proposal, we shall start with the uh, title page, which will be in the next slide. But before I go there, I will remind you every time I come here that you as a project manager, your cardinal responsibility is resource mobilization. You have to mobilize resources for our, an organization so that it can continue in operation. The moment you have no resources, it means your organization will not actually operate as smoothly. Okay, this is a title page. As I told you before, we are looking at an uh, agribusiness uh, project. Uh, here we are, we are having Kulgade National Farm Institute. As you can see in the picture, that's Kulgade Township. And the road from Boroma, can be seen in the background. So that background is four square kilometers. Uh, this farm has got a few features at the moment. A few animals are being looked up after. And we have got a water source that was sponsored uh, by the government some uh, two years ago. Uh, we have got some few workers on it. Uh, tomatoes, watermelon are already are planted on the farm. Uh, the houses you see are just at the edge of the farm. The extension up the hills in the background, that's where the farm ends. It is four square kilometers. Uh, the road crosses uh, through the farm. Uh, the pictures you see depict a mixed farming. You can see some camels on your left and the uh, sorghum on your right meaning the farm will have or has already uh, both animal farming and crop farming. And it is going to be like an academic institution giving refresher courses uh, to farmers, uh, giving research to students, and as well as a tourist attraction because a lot of animals can be found on this farm and more are going to be added. Uh, the catch word on our title page can be seen. Already we have given the, the title of the project is Kulgade National Farm Institute. Okay, 
farm is a culture institute is academic and there is business connected to uh, farming uh, we are offering training oriented to research and agricultural modernization as a key strategy to enhancing food security and self-reliance to the horn of africa a lot of things can be put in the title page but we have chose to make it simple sometimes you may put the name of the author you may put the, uh, the founder you may put the date of submission uh, we have chosen those one will be put on a letter that will be uh, like a cover letter to, when you are sending to the donor uh, the proposal uh, now as you open the book the proposal book what we see will be the executive summary. This is an overview of the project. Uh, for simplicity and easy understanding, I will go through this, but the uh, following slides, I will only explain uh, briefly. Uh, Kuljed National Farm Institute is a subsidiary of the Community Development Initiative, non-government organization, CDI that intends to address the problem of rudimentary agricultural practices in Somali region, establishing by establishing itself as a national reference uh, for modern farming training skills and agricultural research. Um, I will actually explain uh, this briefly so that we can go to the next slide. Uh, this farm institute will help research of all kinds starting from farmers that are already uh, doing their work, be it subsistence farming, commercial farming, they will come here to actually gain knowledge. Students will come and do research at this farm. They will come and be taught practical agriculture on this farm. Uh, the training will be there and, rest, and, the, and boarding, uh, depending on the distance the people who are training have come from. A lot of expertise exists at this farm, be it animal farming, crop farming, uh, agribusiness, all of them uh, can be taught at this farm. Okay. Uh, it ought to be noted that for a long time, the Somali farmers have worked hard, but until now, their productivity cannot support uh, them sufficiently. This has been due to poor farming skills, lack of economies of marketing, lack of economies of transportation, and failure to match the rapidly climatic conditions, which must be responded to promptly and appropriately. Uh, the Community Development Initiative has offered four square kilometers worth uh, 889 thousand two hundred dollars and a water well an agricultural irrigation water pump diesel powered machine and a 12 a thousand liters tank plus farm based buildings now valued at 195 thousand us dollars totaling to two million one hundred sixty five thousand $746, uh, meaning that there will be a contribution uh, by the community and half of the contribution will be uh, got from uh, the funding agents or we shall partner with somebody uh, who has money and they will have already resources which can also be converted in money and it means we shall offer 50% and the, uh, the other partner will offer 50%. Uh, uh, to be a national demonstration farm for farmers across the country to act as a field work destination of secondary school, primary school children, and an applied research center for universities uh, and government. A Kuligiri Farm Institute will have both crop and animal husband. Eh? Key animals like cattle, camels, goats, sheep, rabbits, donkeys for labor, and poultry will be kept and not applied for revenue accumulation and as a basis uh, for students' field work and research for tertiary institutions and the government. 
Likewise, crops will include a variety of uh, of fodder, uh, forestry, cereals, legumes, uh, fruits, vegetables, and underground foods, uh, roots, uh, tubers, uh, raisins, corns, and bulbs. All these will be uh, on this farm. Revenue will be generated from uh, the sale of livestock uh, production uh, of milk, meat, uh, chickens, hides and skins, sheep and goats, and the sale of crops from, uh, I beg your pardon, I beg your pardon, uh, a fee, fees will be paid by students and farmers who visit the farm uh, for search and training. Uh, there will be a multiplier effect in the benefit driven from uh, this farm institute. Uh, that five persons will be direct employees. Uh, vendors will get supplies from the farm. Uh, the adjacent population will have access to the quality of food. Uh, students uh, will have adequate research best. The government will have increased revenue through taxes paid by the farm and taxes driven uh, from farm oriented uh, trade. I've given this background so that uh, you can be able uh, to understand what the project will all, all be about. Uh, when you look through now, uh, these contents uh, refer to the project of Kujet uh, National Farm Institute. We shall start with the executive summary, which you have already gone through. As you scan through, you may discover that another project may have some of these, may not have some of them, may include some, uh, depending on the nature of projects. But for today, these are the contents for our proposal. Uh, we need to actually know the location of the JED National Farm Institute. Okay, this is a map of Somalians or the whole of Somalia showing Kuljet. Look at the star, the star where the cursor is moving now, that's Kuljet. It's at the border with uh, Ethiopia. Uh, you can see uh, Boroma is not very far from Kuljet. They are all uh, towns at the border. Uh, Hargesa is at, at least some around 100 kilometers uh, from the border. And the, uh, you can see the, nay, the, the market uh, for this farm uh, could be uh, what we can call the Aldo region of uh, Somalia, then uh, Djibouti, which is actually importing uh, almost more than 90% of its uh, agricultural uh, consumption, uh, Ethiopia which can also be a very big market for uh, the farm. Uh, the location uh, is located in the north of uh, Somalia. Okay, it is in the region known as Aldo. Uh, let's look at uh, the background, uh, introduction, background, illustration analysis. You may understand that fundamentally Somalia depends on livestock in crop farming. Uh, this project will look at issues uh, shaping priorities for community needs as including an exploited potential for increased local agricultural production, a lack of appropriate uh, forest policy and legislative framework. Uh, this background and introduction is telling us what we shall focus on and it's explaining the problem uh, that is actually existing. And that's why we are writing uh, the proposal. Remember, uh, students, this is something realistic. It has been already written, it has already fetched money, and it's being implemented anytime uh, in this country. It is, in fact, in our neighborhood. However, we are using it for study purposes. I was supposed to give you hints on how to write, but since you requested to have a proposal, here it is. Go through it. But the background, as I've told you, the introduction and background and situation analysis will first of all tell us what we, the proposal is focusing on. The project is focusing on. And it is analyzing the origin of the problem. And it is telling us things the way they are at the moment. That's situation analysis. And from that point, we shall be able to forge ahead 
and continue with our proposal. Uh, in our content last time, we looked at the SWOT analysis, but here we're not seeing it. I told you before, the theoretical background will actually help you uh, to write any proposal. According to the guidelines of this proposal, uh, we are told to look for uh, the project positive position. And here we have listed them. Whereas if it was a sort of analysis, as I told you before, it will look at positive and negative factors that affect uh, the project both internally and externally. Here, if you are looking at the project a positive a position, it will actually look at uh, the strength and opportunities if we compare to the SWOT analysis. Okay, they are listed, as you can see, uh, available land, a large number of farmers, uh, crop diversity, domestic markets, and so on and so forth. Uh, still under what can be related to the SWOT analysis and the, the pestle as seen in our previous lecture, we are looking at bottlenecks and spated and strategic solutions uh, to bottlenecks. Uh, we have listed the bottlenecks on our left and mitigation on the right. Bottlenecks could be the hindrances. What will actually be like a hurdle to the success of our project. And the mitigation is how we are countering or we are solving at the bottleneck given. I will read only the first two. Low quality varieties. Okay, how can we solve this? Look on your right. We shall do research and provide improved quality. Another bottleneck or another hindrance, another problem could be lack of agricultural supplies. How can we solve this? Look on your right, number two. Procure adequate agricultural supplies to increase productivity, and so on and so forth. Um, you must justify your project, justification of the project. Okay? Agriculture is an important economic activity in Somaliland in terms of meeting the full needs of the population and in terms of generating income through crop sales and agricultural labor opportunities. Sad note that roughly only 50% of the population is cereal requirement are made through domestic production. Agriculture is a major component of particularly for two of the main rural livelihood systems in the Horn of Africa. Agropastoralists, a uh, mix of agriculture and livestock production, best live, livelihood of agriculturists, agriculture based livelihood. Uh, a justification here, we are looking at the rationale. Why is it important for us to have uh, this project? I will explain it uh, instead of reading for you all this. Uh, in Somaliland, we have not utilized our potential uh, to its maximum. Therefore, this project is coming to step in to do that. Farmers are going to be trained. Production is going to be increased. We are going to exploit our potential to the maximum. So that's in a way, when we do that, we shall be able to feed ourselves and the surplus can be sold to the neighborhood or to the adjacent areas that may not be having enough supplies. So uh, the problem analysis, we have to actually bring out the problem for the funder or for anybody who is going to this proposal to understand we are solving something. So Maryland is faced with constraints like uh, unstable weather, uh, water scarcity, pests damaging crops, and poor transportation, and a minor constraints such as inability to access and use uh, seeds and fertilizers, lack of capital to buy adequate investment uh, in irrigation, which makes farmers very vulnerable to drought. And there is less knowledge uh, and skill of all farmers. So this problem is what the proposal is intending to address. After analyzing the problem, it's easy for us to actually embark on solving it.
The project is going to address uh, the problem of these constraints of bad weather, lack of water, a lot of pests, uh, poor transport. All these are going to be solved uh, by this project. Therefore, the project proposal is bringing out the problem so that can be seen by the stakeholders and it may uh, be solved. It's also important to tell the project area. When we're starting, we looked at the map and saw the location of Kurjed National um, Farm Institute. Uh, however, it has to have its own paragraph and explain that the project is located in Kurjed outdoor Somalia. Uh, however, services will be extended not only to areas adjacent. It means it will be given to the neighborhood, the services, but also beyond. This being a, a training center, it will serve uh, the whole Somali region and beyond. Uh, so there will be various significant schools cutting across primary, secondary, and tertiary institutions. Uh, how will the project be designed? It's important for us to tell the design of the project. Uh, mixed farming training oriented, the project will keep both livestock and crop farming. The sections in animal husbandry will have uh, the following sections. As you can see, down we shall have animals, I have shall poultry, okay? All these will be in our projects. The sections in the crop uh, husbandry will have the following uh, sections, fruits, vegetables, cereals, and legumes. Uh, underground roots will include uh, roots, tubers, raisins, uh, combs, uh, bulbs, all these will be part of uh, the project. Uh, the objectives of our projects, uh, these are actually specific achievable targets that have been set uh, by the stakeholders of these projects or the person who is writing the proposal. One is to systematically train at least 10 uh, farming villages every three months uh, for a period of two years in Somalia so that they can have good knowledge and increase productivity in the country. Two, to provide training to university students. Our students will need to visit the farm on a regular basis to equip themselves within modern, with modern farming techniques. Three, to serve as field work destination for high school and primary schools. Uh, children will be coming to visit here and learn uh, some farming techniques, maybe uh, rabbit farming, uh, poultry farming, camera farming, dairy farming, all these will be achieved uh, through the National Farm Institute. Uh, for to serve as demonstration farm for farmers in adjacent areas and those farmers beyond. Uh, any farmer who is adjacent to this place can always come and gain knowledge. Uh, very important is to provide research on improved seeds that are drought resistant. Uh, this will be done by university students and some experts at the farm. Uh, to initiate a livestock multiplication program on the farm and as well assist farmers to multiply their livestock. Yeah, it will help to actually teach people how they can increase their livestock through what we are calling the livestock multiplication program. This will be actually done at the farm. It is also important to have a human source management uh, of the project. Okay, initially the project team will be basically uh, taking core personnel from whom the need for more staff will be added as deemed uh, necessary. Okay, I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. Let's proceed. Um, let's look at uh, the starting staff. Uh, we can see the next slide. Uh, these are the people who would actually be required uh, to run uh, the farm uh, efficiently. Uh, you can scan through and see this uh, project human source plan in the first 24 months. These are the people it will be headed by a project manager. Uh, you have seen the qualification, seen the experience, 
It's a big thing and requires people of huge expertise. Uh, we shall have a farm manager who must have a bachelor of science in agriculture, uh, animal husband officer, crop husband officer, and so on and so forth. Until group employees now, you can see like drivers and so on. Other employees will come, but this is the skeletal staff uh, to get the farm uh, kick-started. Uh, the organization structure uh, will be as below. You can see the project manager, finance officer, farm manager, and all these workers may have subordinates, as you can see. And this is skeletal staff. It's an example of a structure of a modern farm. Uh, since this is a, a training uh, institute, it has highly qualified people, like maybe the crop husband officer, animal husband officer. Uh, all these will be able to teach uh, the farmers, the students, a lot of knowledge. Uh, vet extension services, crop extension services. Uh, we have the administration side headed by the finance officer and the technical side by the farm manager. The project manager is the overall uh, controller of uh, the Kuget National Farm Institute. You need to make a market analysis. Who are your uh, buyers? What ages are they? Where will you sell your product? And how will you sell it? It is very important. Scan through and see how uh, the author has actually designed his uh, analysis. But the market for food is very big because at the moment, uh, most of the food, up to around 90% of the food uh, supplies that are found in the market of Somaliland are imported uh, from neighboring countries like Ethiopia, Yemen, as far as uh, East Africa, uh, the, the food is imported. Uh, so this farm will solve a very big problem. Uh, when we analyze the market is big. You need to make a work plan. A work plan is a schedule of how activities will be accomplished. Uh, we can look through and see how the author has developed this work plan. He has the actually first made the one of 12 months and another work plan will be developed at the end of the first one when it's completed. Uh, initial activities to be done in the first one year uh, have been listed here, starting from receiving of funds, ending with the year and reports. Uh, on the left, you can put the activity and on the right, uh, the period when it is supposed to be accomplished. The work plan in simple terms can be uh, related or likened to a timetable, a schedule of when activities are supposed to be completed. Uh, core to a project proposal is what we call a budget. We have started with the summary, then details will be put uh, down. Uh, we can see we have livestock, we have uh, crop farming, seeds, cutting, suckers and seedlings, farm assets, uh, personnel and cost for uh, the first 24 months, operations, coordination of activities, uh, uh, total of subtotals, it's around 1 million, uh, 30,044 US dollars. There is a contingency of 5%. A contingency is what may or may not happen. It's like an emergency fund to take of eventualities, take of eventualities. So in total, in total, uh, we need one million eight one thousand five hundred and forty six. Uh, this is a summary of uh, the money to be actually secured uh, from the funder or from the partner. However, we also have money that has been contributed by the farm itself, as we can see ahead. Uh, local contribution. Local contribution uh, is four square kilometers, okay, uh, which is uh, roughly 988 acres. Each uh, in that area is valued at uh, 900, so a total of 889,200 US dollars. Uh, on the farm, we have water well pump and some few structures. Of the house, all of them total to 195,000. So that brings it to a total of this. Uh, plus, what we need so the whole project we need, uh, we actually cost 2,165,000 US 
and the uh, 40, 40. I beg your pardon, there's a zero missing here, but we can always correct it before we go very far. We need to put this right uh, so that we don't have anything uh, correct. That's a total budget. Let's look at the breakdown in the coming slides. So each particular segment should be have a subtotal. So here we have livestock, goats, we'll total of that. Uh, sheep will be that. And then we have cattle, we have camels, we have rabbits, rabbits, we have, we have that. Uh, you are wondering why we are having all these animals. Uh, this is a training center. So we need as much as uh, is available in the region. So these are important. The market of rabbits is very big in the Middle East. Okay, uh, donkeys. Uh, for farm transportation, they are necessary, and we should actually uh, teach students about these farmers. But the total is also given. Uh, we have poultry, we have crops, uh, we have vegetable seeds, uh, cereals, underground foods, uh, tubers include those, uh, raisins, and subtotal is actually. Uh, given uh, in green on our far right, we have uh, combs include listed below. Subtotals are given. Uh, bulbs include subtotal is given. Uh, legumes, all of them totaling to 1,080. Uh, oil seed crops. Okay, so total cost of crop farming seeds, uh, cutting suckers and seedlings to 25,584. Okay, farm machinery has also been listed. We shall need uh, these assets, and the subtotal is given. Furniture subtotal is given. Okay, farm machinery, equipment, and vehicles, all the total has been given in the far down on our right. Okay, power assets, solar panel. Uh, standby generator of around 8,000, uh, both of them. Uh, buildings, we shall need some buildings uh, for uh, store, cold room, goat's house, sheep house, dormitories, administration block, and so on. A total of 263,900 US dollars. Uh, greenhouses, we shall need these ones. They are very important. So, I will also cost the human source. Human source will take a lot of money, 235,120. Okay, the budget is the core. You have to categorize everything, add them until you get the grand total. But the summary was given in the start, it was 2 million uh, US dollars that's acquired. So, very important in our proposal is uh, monitoring and evaluation. As I explained in the previous lecture, Monitoring and evaluation will actually help us to have corrective measures in case the project is going astray, it's draining from the costs. Uh, we always set standards for the proposal, uh, for the projects, and we have a monitoring section so that if there is any deviation from what has been provided for uh, in our proposal, then we shall have corrective measures. Okay. Uh, you may understand that given the nature of this project, mixed farm with a training component is fitting that uh, the monitoring will have uh, conceptual and uh, methodological advances whereby activities must be uh, completed by a commensurate attention uh, to practical issues if the role of monitoring operation in improving the effectiveness of agricultural and rural development projects is to be uh, fulfilled. Uh, programmatic approaches and practices will be considered and uh, proposes a number of major steps, uh, key activities and priority actions to be kept in mind, uh, both for monitoring and evaluation, system design and its application during project implementation. And the monitoring efforts will match uh, the following. And there are five items. Uh, integrating ME with the project management system, clarity about what uh, to monitor and evaluate 
participation and stakeholder orientation at the core of M and E. Uh, multiple information gathering techniques and uh, sources, linking project design, annual work plans, and budgets, and monitoring and uh, evaluation. Okay. Very important is project sustainability. After the project has been implemented successfully, it will generate its own revenue to ensure sustainability. Re revenue will be raised from uh, the following sources. I'm going to show you the sources, but first of all, sustainability here means that at one time, the fund that you use to start the project will already be exhausted into the project. How will you continue minus the funder's hand? How will the future be? So there should be continued generation of revenue and operations to continue. Here it is. Uh, go through this, my students, and see how revenue will be generated and compare this against the expenditure and see the sustainability of the project. Uh, conclusion. Owing to the above, we get the National Farm Institute uh, Horn of Africa is to witness a spectacular increase in agricultural output with the establishment of the National Farm Institute. This achievement will mainly ascribe to the improved agricultural practices leading to high productivity of land and labor. Uh, the contribution of extensive cultivation will be significant. As you can see, four square kilometers is something very big. More farmers will have better livelihoods. And there will be improved improvement in the country's balance of payment due to reduced import of foodstuffs. As a lot of farmers engage in production, produce quality things, it means this will be like an import substitution. We shall actually provide for ourselves what we've been importing. And this will actually help uh, the government correct its uh, balance of trade. A Kuljed Farm Institute will have uh, together crop and animal husbandry. Key animals like cattle, camel, goat, sheep, rabbits, donkeys, whatever, and poultry will be kept and multiplied for revenue accumulation uh, and as a basis of students' field work uh, and research for tertiary institutions and government. Uh, likewise, crops will include a variety of fodder, forestry, cereals, legumes, fruits, vegetables, and underground foods, as listed. Okay. Uh, income will be generated from the sale of livestock, uh, production of meat, meat chickens, height and skins, sheep and goats, and the sale of crops from fees paid by the students, farmers who visit the farm, and uh, such training, uh, there will be a lot, there will be a lot. The farmers uh, will actually benefit from the knowledge. Uh, we shall have uh, that people, that five people who will get jobs direct and others who will get jobs indirectly. Okay, I've given you a sample uh, proposal. Go through it carefully. I will, give you, I will give you the PowerPoint and also give you the PDF uh, of this uh, proposal. Uh, don't cut and paste. Don't cut and paste uh, because this is only an example. I, whenever you're writing a proposal, look at the guidelines of the call for proposal. I uh, thank you for your attention. You should note the following. Uh, project proposals bear benefits because it is investment leading to a positive change. Okay, normally a proposal should actually have a positive change. If it doesn't have a positive change, it will be funded. Uh, thanks. I actually uh, request you uh, to like the video, share, and if you have any questions, you all have my email. And those who have not sent in the assignments, please, I request you do so as soon as possible because in the coming days, we may be doing the final exam. Uh, I mean, the mid-semester exam, uh, basing on the first uh, four modules. Once again, thanks a lot. Like the video, subscribe, and share with your friends.